everybody and welcome to the channel tonight I decided I wanted to make some Nutella and in this reused container I have hazelnuts so if you'd like to see how I make homemade Nutella stay tuned Don't you cry, just I'm going to apologize right now for any background noise that you hear. My neighbor is having a cookout. It is late and yet he is still over there jamming. The first thing we do is we get the nuts in the instant vortex oven and we roast them. Now I've already washed my hands, so my hands are clean. And since I didn't have an awful lot of nuts, I'm trying to utilize all of them so that when I go to the store, I can just buy some more, some fresher ones and start over. So I'm going to try to get all of these on these two trays and roast them down. I might still be able to put just a few more on this one. Looks like I have space. Zealous and threw one inside of the oven. All right, so now that we have both trays full and I made a mess, let me clean that up. Now that I've cleaned up the debris, I'm going to close the oven and I'm going to roast, let's see, about five minutes. It's on 375. And I'm going to keep an eye on this because I don't want them to burn. I just want to get a little bit brown and bring those oils out of the nuts. So I'm going to turn it on and keep an eye on it. The oven has been on for about a minute. I can smell the nuts and I can see the oils beginning to come out of the nuts, at least on the top row. They're beginning to brown a little bit. I'm going to get my spurtle and move them around a little bit. Let me get that. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. Let's see. Yeah, this top tray is browning nicely. And I can see the oils are, and you have to be careful because this is hot. Let me get a uh, hot mitt. Now that I have a hot mitt, I won't feel so apprehensive about using this spurtle and sticking my hand in here because I don't want to accidentally touch the top element and I don't want that heat that's radiating off of this to burn my hand. So be careful when you're using anything hot, you all. This is a hot tool. I should have got the other one out. I only picked up one. So I'm going to switch these trays. I don't know if you can see. These are browning nicely. And these are still... See, I, can't... I hate when I do that. I just knocked some nuts in the bottom. Hang on a minute, y'all. Let me grab that. Right-handed, so I needed to switch this mitt to my left hand so that I can pull this bottom tray. Let's see. I can't see. There we go. And get that nut out of there. 
Mistakes are made sometimes in the kitchen. Let me get another mitt. Okay, let's try this again. I have some little half instant pot mitts. I don't really care for these because they don't really insulate your hands the way you really need your hands to be insulated. And these little nuts are so slippery. It's hard to get them, but here we go. Got them. All right, so now I'm gonna place this tray. See, you gotta be careful. I think I'll, I touched the bottom of that. Gotta get that tray in. And that's why I should have this mitt on this hand. All right, so I'm gonna get this one browned. Here we go. All right, it is time to check the oven. Let me get my mitt. Let's see, oh yeah. You can smell the nuts. They are turning a nice light brown. You can see the oils are beginning to come out of the nuts. They could stay in there just a few more minutes. You don't want them to be too brown, but you do want them to have a nice little bit of a light brown color. So I'm gonna leave them in here for just a few more minutes and then I'm gonna let them cool because they need to be cool before we blend them down with the other ingredients. So let's give them a few more minutes. I just noticed that the oven has started its countdown. It's counting down to zero and it's gonna turn itself off. So as soon as it goes down to zero and starts beeping, then this process of roasting the nuts is over it's done i'm gonna let them cool off completely and then we'll go to the next step so it's time for them to cool and we'll be right back for the next step many hours later and the hazelnuts have cooled off i placed them in my mixer canister now what you would normally do is you would take a towel and you would rub off the skin but this is my homemade nutella I'm not concerned about the skin, so I'm gonna leave it in. You put it in your canister or food processor and you put it on your machine. Now this is gonna get loud, so I'm gonna turn the volume off and let this run. And then we'll go from there. This is very thick and it is turned into a very thick butter. Kind of like a crunchy uh, nut, it's a, it's a crunchy nut butter. Now, because it's so thick, I'm gonna start to add a little bit of liquid just to get it, give it a little bit of movement because it's too thick to continue to blend the way it is. So I'm gonna place a little bit of vanilla. I have some homemade vanilla extract here. And of course, I mentioned in a previous video, I need to go and pick up some more vodka. How you keep your vanilla extract going is you top it up with the vodka for the amount that you use off. So you drain it off and you add vodka to top it up. So I need to get some more. So I'm gonna go out uh, probably sometime this week. I'm gonna add just a little bit of vanilla. And we're gonna keep blending until this is smooth. I'm gonna add the sweetener and the cacao powder. Now the cacao powder that I'm going to use is an organic cacao powder that I picked up from Walmart. Just know this has no sugar added, zero sugar. This is not sweet at all, right there, zero sugar. And you're gonna to need to add a sugar once you use this because this is very bitter. But this is pretty good for you. So let's see, I have a scoop in here. I tend to keep little scoops around. And I'm gonna put a half of a scoop full. Maybe not quite, let's see. Did 
there we go, it's about a half, maybe a little bit less of a scoopful of cacao. So I'm gonna put it in there like that. Now be reminded that this is thick and your blender may not be able to blend this. You might have to add a little bit of oil. I prefer not to add oil, so I'm gonna have to continue to stir it, get it off the sides, move it around from the blade and try to keep it from sticking because it will stop the blender because it's very thick. Now, since I've added the cacao powder, I'm gonna add some granulated sugar. Of course, I have a scoop in my granulated sugar. So I'm going to add a scoop of granulated sugar. I'm sorry, granulated honey. There we go. Mm, not quite an entire scoop. I'm gonna taste it, and if it tastes like I need to add a little bit more, I will. This goes a long way. This granulated honey goes a long way. You don't have to add a lot of it. So I'm just gonna add about a half of a scoop. All right, time to get it going again. Now mine is extremely thick and it is beginning to stop my, my mixer, my blender. So I'm gonna add a little bit of grapeseed oil just to kind of keep it from gunking up. And hopefully my grapeseed oil is not going to change the flavor. This is 100% grapeseed oil. I picked this up, uh, it's not GMO from Aldi. So let's get this blended because it is beginning to stop my, my mixer. So. And you have to remember to scrape down your sides to make sure that it is incorporating just like so hope you guys can see I'm right-handed so you have to excuse me if my hand is in the way I'm trying to get that big clump from above the blade and you have to remember use clean hands I've washed my hands so I'm just going to scrape this off. And you can use a spatula if you like. You don't have to use your hands uh, if that's something that you don't do in your kitchen. This is my kitchen, and so I do it this way. And I'm gonna wash my hands and get this off. And then again. And you just blend it until it starts to become smooth like a smooth nut butter. And as you can see, maybe it is, it's blending down here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you all see that? How it's beginning to come together down here and it will move up and, and turn smooth. So this is a little bit of a slow process for me because this is so thick. If I turn it up higher, it's gonna stop it because it's so thick. So just keep blending and I'll be right back. So I have blended it. I have continued to scrape the sides down, so let's take a look at it. Take the top off. Ooh, can you all see that? Wow. This is my homemade Nutella. Now, I could blend it even further and to, to make it even creamier, to make it look more like the store-bought stuff, but I kind of like it as it is. It's really thick. It goes well on toast, on bagels, on fruit. Look at that. Can you all see how gorgeous that is? Hang on, let me move y'all up a little bit. Can you all see how gorgeous that is? Look at that. On fruit, on bread, just amazing. That is so beautiful. Can you see that? And this is my homemade Nutella. Now I didn't tell you, I don't think what I did, I showed you the cacao powder. I told you that I put in my homemade vanilla extract. I put in a granulated honey. 
and because it was so thick and it wasn't blending well I opted to put a little bit of grapeseed oil just to give it some movement because it was very thick and it was stopping my uh, my blender but look at that right there that is homemade Nutella so I hope you all make some for yourself I'll put the ingredients that I used in the description box below I'll try to find a recipe for you so that you can go buy an actual recipe because you saw I just dumped some stuff in there um, it has the correct amount of sweetness that I like it's not overly sweet it's not overly uh, it doesn't have a, an over chocolate kind of a taste but it's amazing I love this this has uh, two grams of fiber eight grams of magnesium six grams of vitamin C it's 20 calories if you're interested in uh, your caloric intake. This has no sugar in it. The only sugar I added was a little bit of granulated honey. Everything else, you saw it for yourself. So I hope you all decide to make some homemade Nutella. I can tell you right now, I love this. My family loves this. And I think you will love it too. So I hope you make it. If you do, let me know in the description box below. So do me a favor. If you like this video, hit that like button, share this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I hope to see you either in my kitchen or my garden real soon. Bye for now. So now all it's time to do is jar this up. All right, it's Nutella time. What I wouldn't give right now for a homemade crepe with some homemade Nutella. Ugh. This is so delicious. I could eat this whole jar by myself. Mm, mm, mm. Make some, y'all.